Hello, Secret Vault, and this is a little ride around devices. Now, I've got two cameras, and one of them runs at 60 frames a second, but it's on my head, so as you can see it turns around a lot. And the other one is this one, which is my 360 camera, which looks a lot better. And it's a lot wider too. But if it requires it, I'll switch between the cameras. So that's why I'm doing that. And it's taken me an awfully long time to get this thing edited. I've had problems with the, uh, the software and the original audio, because of course I'm whizzing along here, as you can see, the original audio has a lot of wind noise in it. And I wasn't able to fix the wind noise very well, so I thought, why not just put some music on it and we'll do it again. Now, this on the right is a very old building. And this one on the left is the Devizes Town Council. And there's a pub on the left called The Lamb. And this is one of the oldest streets in Devizes here. Have a look at this. Impressive old street that, isn't it? And this is a little pathway which scuttles around the back and shows you the back of the Devizes Castle. And also shows you the old railway tunnel. Now, there's no railway there anymore. It's been filled in um, and used as an underground firing range which is, believe, believe it or not, see that archway down there, that firing range, is where Michael Ryan, the Hungerford Massacre guy, that's where he practiced with his weapons. Hmm, yes baby. I bet that's something they're not very proud of, but uh, it's very hard to see the castle from any angles in devices it's really hard to see it so the only way to really see it is to be cheeky and go up there so there we can see the side of the town hall on the right hand side notice board. On the left hand side you can see a building here called none other than vaults. Yes. So uh, some of the posh shops that uh, people can't afford to, to, to spend money in on the left hand side. All a bit expensive along here. Yeah. Yeah. And there now down this alleyway you can see in the distance just a glimmer of the castle the gates to this uh, castle generally always locked. Nobody ever drives in through there. So that's the guard house. And this castle has been rebuilt a number of times. But Devizes used to be completely an enclosed, um, an enclosed town. So it had a wall all the way around it. And unless you went in through the main entrances, you weren't getting in. So this is the bit they don't want you to go beyond. But it, this is the way that the people who live in the castle actually drive up. This is the real way they come in. It's not locked off, but not many people are as cheeky as me to go up there, so I, ho I hope this doesn't... Uh, you know, usher in a new era of cheeky people going up there that will upset them. 
you know how easy people are upset by little things. Little things like people just taking a little cycle to have a look, you know, and they're like, no, that's it. Now then we're going to put electronic security all over the place. And we're going to have security guards and everything because ah, somebody dead. Come and have a look. There it is. There's Devise's castle. Not really a castle because it's been kind of smashed up and this is a reapproximation of what uh, you know, they built it back up to look like a castle. It used to be a real castle at one point, but uh, everything about the town walls and the castle has been taken away. Now you don't really want to go much further down than that because it'll just go round on itself, so I'm just going to go back up whole thing goes down the bottom and you can't see very much and to be honest I've got I've got drone footage on this channel where you can see the castle in much much better detail than I'm showing you here so have a look at the drone footage out to the, the street way if you go up to where the the gatehouse would be then then that's what you would drive into if you came through the, the gatehouse but we won't go up there because there are a few people standing around and the gatehouse is actually a, uh, a private house in its own right so didn't want to piss them off too much Um, you'd never know that you were looking at the 360 camera here, would you, you know? Because the alternative is to look at it like this and see how shaky it is, because it's a, it has a whole different type of shake as opposed to the smoothness. Let's go across to the GoPro. With the GoPro, as my head turns, you know, it keeps re-centralizing the image. And when I look left and right, as you'll see in a second, it'll all go a bit all go a bit sort of funny. Well, that wasn't too bad. Hey, look what this is. It's my most favouritest place in the whole wide world. Weatherspoons. Weatherspoons pub in Devizes. Yeah, but I've switched back to the 360 because, to be honest, it's a lot smoother and you've got a much wider angle so you get to see more. But keep your eyes peeled because there's something here in a minute that I didn't know was going to be there. And there it is. Oops. Brakes on. Reverse, reverse, reverse. And let's get the hell out of here because, hmm, they, they may not like what I'm riding. Let's see whether they saw me. Did they see me? Oh yeah, they're moving. They're moving. They saw me. Yeah, they, 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 uh, they're on the hunt. They're on the hunt. Yeah, this is how petty our police are, folks. This is how petty they are these days. Yeah. Yeah. So they're like, which way did he go? Which way did he go? I bet he went left. Come on, let's go left. See if we can catch him. Get him. Get him! Get him! Destroy him! Yeah, well, not today, boys, eh? I know devices like the back of my hand. <laughs> and all you've got to do is scoot up somewhere like this. And I don't think you're going to be getting a... You're not going to be getting a Ranger over up here, boys. This 
is known as the Ginnel or Ginnel Arcade. Don't know why it's called the Ginnel. That'd be Gin Alley, I suppose. And I sewed a lot of gin there. Got a, got a lot of names like that in Wiltshire. You know, you get um, Gin Alley will become Ginnel. And, you know. Things get shortened and mushed into one word. Now, this is something not many people do. So, go and see the devices market, but slightly in a slightly different method. Of course, I'm I'm walking here, folks. I'm walking. I'm walking. Honestly, trust me. I'm walking. I am walking right now. Honestly, I am walking, folks. Nothing to fear. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of the banks. There's Greg's, and people often uh, beg outside Greg's. Thing is, I don't shop in Greg's anymore because uh, since they doubled all their prices, I told them to Foxtrot Oscar. And I have never bought anything in Greg's ever since. And we're going on, ooh, about 10 years now. 10 years? Yeah, that's pretty good going, isn't it? There you go, see? When I say I'm going to do something, I do it. And I don't eat in Domino's anymore for a very similar reason. But there you go. Cafe Nero on the right-hand side. Look at the, the chart shops, you've got British Heart Foundation. Let's have a look at, you know. Because uh, there's a lot of charity shops. There's one on the left there then, I think. Closed shops. So we've obviously, obviously seen a load of closed shops at the moment. Um, I think Iceland was thinking of shutting down at one point. That's, a, I think that's a, a charity shop on the right. Yeah. Right. There's a jewellers and a few bits and pieces, but I mean, there's four or five charity shops up there on the right hand side. I mean, Devices has basically become a bit of a charity shop area, and there's a lot of turnover of businesses because they can't they can't afford the rents and they can't afford the rates it's just stupid and they want to charge you to park in devices so yeah. a lot of people just say no nah, I don't think I'm gonna bring my business to devices yeah you can't buy a pair of underpants in devices It's a, it's a place that's famously known for this. It's like you could buy you could buy a, a five hundred pound suit, you could buy a three thousand pound wedding dress, you could buy all sorts of fancy lardy da stuff. There's a bookshop on the left, the job centre and post office on the right. My favourite curry house on the left, Bengal Bites. That's the back of the post office on the right, and on the right hand side, underneath that building is a nuclear bunker. There is actually a very small nuclear bunker underneath the library. Down the little secret alleyway we go, where no cars are allowed to drive. And yet, halfway down this scenic little alleyway we have the Freemasons Hall there it is in yellow that's it and there's a little sign saying Masonic Hall but a lot of people would miss that and never opens its doors ever for people to see what's inside so that's a little bit of a mystery that one a little bit of a mystery if anyone ever, ever has been in there, let, let us know in the comments. Is it 
time for music change. It might be time for music change. By the way, that was um, a track by PC3 called Time Train. It's a jolly little track, wasn't it? I'll get something else equally jolly up in a minute. Now we're coming east out of the side of Devizes. And um, on the right hand side, we've got the Devizes Ambulance Station. So, luckily, if you're ill in Devizes, you get an ambulance come to you extremely quickly. Because the station is right there. Another PC3 track. This one's called The Soft Approach. And there's one of... Oh, I thought that was an ambulance. It's not. A friend of mine lives in, a, in that house on the left. And it's a set of flats. Someone I know well. So I just skipped forward there because I was checking my recordings were still recording. As we go across the village green, on the left hand side they often have music events and things like that. As we go in now to the left hand entrance we see the Devizes School. Can't really go in there filming because it's kids but um, no kids there at the moment. I remember a bit of an interesting encounter with an MP called Claire Perry there. Hmm, yeah. Silly woman. I think you'd probably describe, best described as highly strung. And that's the sports centre, which has a swimming pool, tennis courts, things like that. That's all just passing us on the left-hand side as we come back around and back onto the main road again. We'll have the uh, fire station on our right as we leave here. Devices Community Fire Station. I suppose we're lucky to still have one, really. Stupid, stupid headlights, LED headlights flickering and flashing away. So this is the green in devices, often used for music festivals, circuses, shows, and just general trashy type events that the council likes to throw money at, which hardly anyone attends. But. Maybe be me to tell the council what to spend their money on. I get in enough trouble for saying Devizes is dying. And this is always considered the more kiddie area. They don't tend to have events on this side. Devices pay to pay to poo toilets. You must pay to poo. The bell by the green pub. Um, 
It's not a bad place. I just uh, the the rumours are that the landlord uh, watches everybody like a hawk and reports them to the police. Uh, don't know if it's the same landlord, but uh, it used to put a lot of people off going in there because I think the landlord was either an ex-police officer or wanted to be one or something. But yeah, people just don't need their uh, their personal business and lives wrecked by uh, an overzealous landlord now, do they? So uh, that's why I don't go in there. But I apologise if I'm wrong. Hmm. Yeah. As you can see me being very good then, walking across, walking across the old uh, thing, because we don't want to be, don't want to be cycling around <laughs> some of these places, do we? So I sometimes shop in here, uh, to be perfectly honest, like most people, I can't afford to, because it's quite expensive. So uh, most people go to Lidl's these days, but you know, if there's something you, you, you must have, there's something that you can't get anywhere else, you will find yourself coming to Morrison's and getting ripped off blind, because uh, it's not exactly cheap. times over the years have I driven around that car park. God. There's a little secret escape route here. This lakey type thing in front of us, we see, is called the Crammer. The Crammer. You can see it's got lots of uh, lots of uh, duck, geese, swans, and other other things there. It, it's often attributed to an ancient story of smugglers that hid their barrels of beer or barrels of something or another hid them in the water and they were they were caught by the the local police officer or customs officer who asked why were they out on a boat at night trying to pull things something out of the water and they seemed like they were raking the water with rakes looking for something and when when they were asked what they were trying to find, these locals said, we are trying to rake the moon. We're trying to catch the moon with our rakes. So that's why there's a famous saying in the area of the moon rakers. And the moon rakers trying to rake in the moon reflection on the water. Which, of course, is a euphemism for we're trying to get our stashed barrels of whiskey, etc., etc. That's the Devizes Police Station. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this organisation, but, uh, yeah... On the left hand side now just behind this hedge is their control center where they have all the calls come in for 999 in that building there that's where all the calls are handled for 999 and you know devises thinks it's important to create bike lanes here you know spend spend loads of money They've got no money for anything. Devices Council, they got no money for anything whatsoever. They got no money whatsoever. No money, no money, no money. But they can seemingly 
paint lots of colourful lines all over the road, you know, for bike lanes and this and that lanes and, and slow you down lanes and, uh, you know, it's... But they got no money. Yeah. On the left of us, which you can't see now because the, the, the hedges have grown up, used to be where the helicopter used to land, the police helicopter. But it um, no longer operates from there. I believe it operates from near Melksham now. And that's just a new housing estate, which is not very exciting. And a tennis court just left to go to rubbish. You know? Why would you want to have people playing tennis? And why would you want sports facilities? And why would you want anything? Because if you leave it go that bad, you can just build houses on it. Which they're really desperate to do. I know that the council are really, really, really desperate to build houses all along here. But they've not managed to pull it off. I think there have been opposition from the locals, but... They will do one day. All of this will just be a bunch of, you know, cheaply, cheaply built paper-thin wall houses. Yeah. This is new red brick builds there, you know. Cheap, 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 cheap. But charge you loads for it. Here we are back to the wonderful cycle lanes. Which, which would be really useful. I mean, I suppose if they allowed electric bikes and, and scooters and things like that. But of course, as we know, uh, no, you're not allowed to have those. So everybody just says, no, cars, please. And when you live in a place like Devizes, you, you really do understand why everyone drives cars and the buses are not used. And it's because Devizes is a hub town um, in so much as it serves vast areas of countryside where people live in houses spread out in the middle of nowhere and bicycles just don't cut it because it would take you hours to ride a bike into town and people don't really have the energy or the time to dedicate to that so that's why people use cars and that's why it's such a joke to see bike lanes because eh, probably only a few people every day use them and that is a fact here's the crappy crappy lights that they put in right that don't have a right filter so there's no right filter on these lights so you have to wait until there's a gap and also the same going the other way. You have to wait until there's a gap to turn. They could have put a filter in there and it would have made it a lot easier for people to to turn when the lights were still on red. But nope, that would have been that would have taken too much brain power to think of something like that. Oh, I just sounded so moany, aren't I? <laughs> I mean, you're just trying to enjoy the, the great uh, the great scenery and I'm just telling you the reality of like people face palming some of these stupid decisions of the local planners and all this on the right hand side used to be a barracks I think it was called Egypt barracks or something like that um, Azigmur or Egypt barracks and uh, it's now all been turned into houses but believe it or not, there's about 3,000 houses around Devizes which are left permanently empty by the military. And they won't sell them to the public and they won't put anyone in them. And the people who were allowed to live in some of them have all been evicted. So now they're all empty. And there's been a big scandal about this recently. So here we come on the lovely roundabout. This is one of the the best roundabouts in Devizes because it takes you down here to the most magical place in town. Oh, see that see that food thing on the left in the car park, right? Oh boy, boy, what a con! 
right? You go there and you want a burger. So be eight pound, please, sir. No, sorry, I don't want that. Thanks, then. No, you can keep that. Uh, how much for a breakfast? Oh, that'll be twelve pound, please, sir. Why is it? Why is it so expensive? Oh, all all homemade stuff, sir. It's like, well, everything's homemade, isn't it? In this world, like it's all made at home in somewhere, like a factory. You don't expect me to believe you made this in your kitchen. And I'm not paying twelve pound because I'll go to Weatherspoons and pay five pound, or I'll have a, a four pound fifty breakfast in Morrison's. But you know that guy who's running that thing wants to seriously have a word with himself. Littles, yeah. I honestly don't know anyone who has bought food from that shitty little um, that shitty little thing. I mean, can you eat like eight eight pound for a burger? I mean, like, <laughs> don't get me started. Let's find some more music. Right, about an hour's passed now, so I have calmed down a little. But I feel very passionate about getting ripped off. So I don't like sort of pulling up to a burger place and thinking like, oh, all right, I can get some cheap food here now. It'll be some quick cheap food and it'll be great. And then it's just like the prices are just, nah. Anyway, before I break into another rant, but I feel very passionately about it, which is why I've left um, that guy a stinking review on Google. As you can see, this is just the old... Uh, boring, boring red brick bits of uh, devices, just around the corner from Liddles. Nothing to see here unless you like being stacked on top of some screaming family playing music 24-7 through the paper-thin floors. You know, nothing to see here. But now we're heading off down to the Devices Marina for a little bit of a look. There's a pub down here and there's access to where people keep their canal boats. Devices Marina. It's a bit like Fort Knox, this place, though. The only trouble is you can't just go and visit your friends because they've got to come out and open the door for you. Because there's an electronic door system and you can't just pull up and then walk over to your mate's boat and go and have a look. It's all bloody secured, which is weird. So I don't quite know what the uh, the thought is there, but it's like hyper secured. So they don't seem to want you to uh, don't seem to want you to go visit your friends. You have to ring them up and get them to open the door for you. There we are. It's the gates. bloke was eyeing me up like, who are you? What are you doing here? So general level of uh, snobby paranoia going on in Devizes Marina. Don't know if it's always like that, but look, you know, big gates, big gates, big gates. They're big on, they're big on stopping people coming in and out, aren't they? They're big on sort of like, no, you can't come in here. Whereas at uh, Hilperton Marina, you know, and all the other marinas, generally everywhere you go to you can just drive in and park up and go walk over to your mate's boat but not in devices they're like must be old bloody, bloody freemasons or something sadly you can't walk down the canal this side you have to get over to the other side to be able to get along the canal so we'll see that in a minute but that canal pathway goes all the way right the way up to Pusey and beyond. You could probably walk all the way along the canal bank as far as Reading. You might even be able to get to London. 
by walking up the canal banks. It's amazing, actually. Is it like a, a walkway or... Well, they don't like you cycling your bike up there. Yeah, that's, a, that's the thing, see, I mean, like, it's a great place to go and ride your bike, but the canal ways are a bit pissy about it. And like, you shouldn't be doing that. And, and people who, who are on the boats there, they'll often be like, oh, what are you doing here, your bike? Oh. And it's like, don't they realize that people who own boats have got bikes? to go into town or to get to their vehicle to then get to town to do their shopping. You know, it's like but people can get quite pissy. I've had a few people shout at me for sort of uh, cycling my bike along the canal, uh, the, the towpath as it's called. But I can't see why, why they have to be like that. As you can see, more uh, exciting, exciting back ends of devices. It cuts through a, a little known park here. So, this is on the back of the barracks, basically, I think. You might be able to see the barracks. There's the barracks in the distance. And all that building to the right. So, this is the back of the barracks, effectively. I don't know if at one time in the past it would have been part of the barracks, even. stop people with wheelchairs getting into the park you don't want people with wheelchairs getting in the park now that would be that would be very very health and safety conscience I mean you know people with wheelchairs of course they put those sorts of barriers there to stop people with bikes but I mean really you're not allowed to ride a bike across the park oh you know it's just like really devices town council hello Hello, Earth Calling Devices Town Council. Got any more stupid money you could spend thing money on? You got any more money you could spend stupid money on? But you haven't got any money. So, how you manage to spend money on stupid things when you haven't got any money is beyond me. Anyway, here's one of the various ways on the other side of the bank now. So we're on the opposite side to where we were earlier on. So this now allows us to come down onto the uh, slightly nicer quality round devices because they actually bother to gravel these um, these pathways. They're graveled so that people can walk all the way across devices without having to hit a road. You know, well, you can uh, you can duck duck and dive and sneak around. <laughs> if the police were looking for you, you could just you know get down the old uh, towpath and uh, they'll find it very hard to get to, to find where you are. It's a bit of a rat run as they, uh, they call it but yeah, the canals are quite uh, quite good quality going through devices. It's uh, You do see people fishing. Not entirely sure if I'd want to fish from something like that, but you know, you do see people doing it. So we're heading back in towards town now. And I sort of confused myself here because I haven't been down for a while. I thought this was. This was a, a way to get to my old house. So I thought I was going to have a look then. But I, 
was wrong. It's a little bit too far into town still, so, uh, uh, well, out of town, rather. On the north side of town. So I get back onto that road. Path, sorry, even. You can tell I, I don't edit these things when I do them. I just, I just speak them and be damned. Hey. It's good stuff down here, isn't it? Nice views. People with their own private moorings. Look on the back of the house. Woman with dog. She's always there, 24-7. No, just kidding. There's the backs of houses that you don't see on Lond London Road going into Devizes. You don't get to see the backs of a lot of these houses, and uh, some of them are quite nice. I mean, little, little sort of uh, sheds down the garden, and... Yeah, quite nice, and going right onto the back of the canal, which is uh, which is quite interesting. Because I mean, you know, you could keep a little boat there, couldn't you, on the back of your house, and go canoeing. Quite quaint, really. Something you'd expect to see in, I don't know, High Wycombe or something, rather than Devizes. But uh, yeah. So now we're getting into the area where I used to live, which is near Victoria, Victoria Road in Devizes. So and in a second we'll turn up there and have a look. Because I used to produce the TV show called Circle Makers TV from a house I had there which had lots of lots of space and I really liked but like so many things you'll know about my life everywhere I go there's always somebody trying to F me off and F me over and so I wasn't many months in this house until the pricks had managed to get me out funny that Nonetheless, we carry on still, and we wish them a good holiday in the seventh level of hell. It's just the back of a care home, you can see there. All the people's care home it was across the road from where I lived. Almost, almost time to get another music track on. And over there, that's where it was. It's about the third house in. So, that one there directly in the middle now. That upstairs room was where we used to do the Circle Makers TV. That was it. Yeah, so we'll stay off the uh, the towpath now and just get 
back into devices and see what else is to be seen. At the end of our street used to be, well, still is, you can see it there at the moment, that those buildings in the distance are the Devizes Hospital. And they're going to shut that down. They're going to shut all that down and build houses. Yeah. Yeah. Get rid of no hospital in Devizes anymore. Bye-bye. No hospital, just get some houses. Yay! We should all be we should all be clapping right now, shouldn't we? Yay! I'm not clapping. And I used to walk down here to go and get my get my food from this uh, supermarket that's opposite opposite us now. On this roundabout, directly opposite here. Here we go, so we're into the parking area now of Sainsbury's and they charge you to park to do your shopping. Can you believe that? They charge you to park in their car park. Well, it's not actually Sainsbury's do it, it's the council. The council have got the nerve to charge people to park in that car park to go and do their shopping. That's Devizes, that's Devizes Council, that's Kennet District Council, Wiltshire Council, whichever bunch of toss artists are trying to, to scrape a penny by doing that. Yeah. And here's another, here's another car park. Again, pay and display. They want your money, they want your money. And it costs, it costs absolutely astronomical rates to ha have a business in Devizes and it, it's really high rent and they want to charge you to park in the car parks too and you wonder why I keep saying Devizes is dying because there's nobody buying because nobody's coming yeah and the pink boys are bumming so yeah it's not very good And here you've got a couple of free parking spaces, but uh, there's not many of them. There's like one, two, three. And there's charity shop, charity shop, charity shop. <laughs> Round the corner, charity shop. Yeah. 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 Back on the main road, and there's my favourite weather spoons. The Silk Mercer, and no, we don't go in the Pepper Mill Hotel because we we can't afford that sort of food. Bit expensive, can't afford that sort of price, those sorts of prices. No, sadly, so we we don't go in, we don't go in places like that. Sadly, and the Bear Hotel, quite nice. Oh, there's the bloody, there's the uh, Corn Exchange on the left-hand side. That's the place where they threw me out horizontally after pulling my trousers down so my bare ass and my penis were showing. And uh, yeah, they thought that was really funny. Yeah, throw me out in the street. Yeah, with my trousers down after they pulled them down. Great, eh? Yeah. So definitely uh, controlled by Freemasonic wankers, that place. Anyway, uh, talking about um, weird places in Devizes. We're going down the hill now, which is, um, and I had to change cameras because my 360 ran out of power at this point, or something. I don't know whether it was full, memory full, or anyway, it wasn't working. So, yeah, another pay car park. They like making you pay in devices. Pay, 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 pay. You pay now, you must pay. Pay, 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 pay. And it ain't cheap either. But this down here is the old railway tunnel. And the railway tunnel is the Devizes gun club shooting ranges. So, yeah. And the 
old uh, trains used to come through here and down the hill over that way. But we're going to get back up into town. There's a there's a serpentine serpentine path to allow people in wheelchairs to struggle like buggery to get up here. You know, test your muscle strength getting up this slinky path. Yeah. Yeah, which is probably why a lot of devices, wheelchair people would never use it, would they? Because really, you'd have to, you'd have to be Jeff Bloody Capes to uh, to wheel yourself up this this thing, and then you still got the hill to get up. So it's like, oh, devices say, well, we better put some wheelchair access in this car park for wheelchair people instead of, well, they're not really wanna gonna want to come up this hill, are they? But. Don't tell Devices Council what to do. There's that bloody coin exchange as well. I've had some good times in there, but I've had a few shit ones too. Screw the security who work in that place. They should be bloody sacked. Arseholes. Anyway, here we are. Lovely. The marketplace. This is Devices Marketplace. As you can see, they're now setting up the... Uh, a lot more vehicles have arrived. They're now starting to set up the uh, the whole thing, ready for festival event or, or over a weekend. There's the Palace Cinema. Wow, how many years has that been closed, waiting to be done? Yeah, can't wait to see that cinema back open. How many years is it now? Four? Five? I don't know. I'm going to check now. It's, it's been a long time. But, but honestly, folks, honestly, trust us, trust us, it is going to open back up. Honest, honest, honest. You know, yeah. Mr. Oh, it was 2018, it closed down. So it's been a long time waiting for this renovation work. Inside, it's pretty much a shell now. They've just knocked everything out, so... Anyway, where else have we got? Um, on the right-hand side, the NatWest Bank is now closed. They've closed. No more NatWest Bank. Just one more thing moving out to devices. There we go. Another bank. There used to be there used to be two banks there. What we're looking at in front of us here, this building, is the one that's got the, the tunnels underneath it. It used to be the old town hall. And it was also, I believe, one of the first automatic telephone exchanges in the UK, which is why it has this little plaque on the side of it. But um, it has more history than is written on that plaque, I'm led to believe. But um, yeah, there used to be a there used to be a, a bank in there, and that closed. And next door to it, there used to be an Abbey National, which then turned into a Santander, and that closed. So it's just like. Pfft, Devices, devices is dying, devices is dying. Yeah. Um, and, unless, of course, you want to spend, you know, like £20 on a breakfast, you know, for a cup of tea and a, and a, and a full English, 20 quid, please, then there are places that can cater for you in devices. But how long they'll be there for, I guess not a lot longer i mean that place i showed you earlier on the vaults that shut down because nobody went in it you know it's like you can't make people come to a town where it's going to cost them to park and expect them to come and spend money it's just not going to happen i mean let's get back to the real world but devices is one of those places that don't seem to sort of operate in the real world it's like got its trajectory, its idea of what it's going to do, and it doesn't give a shit about what anyone else thinks. Yeah. So, that's about it. This is where we started, and that's where we'll have to end. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and... Uh, if you don't like the narration on this, there is going to be a version I'm going to upload where my voice will not be on top of it, so you can just enjoy it for the visuals and music and not have to listen to my dulcet tones. So thanks very much for watching. Remember, don't look, don't like, don't subscribe, and uh, yeah, uh, don't don't go asking me to go out on explores because then you get a grumpy me. 